What's up, everybody? It's NFT Jeff, and this is NFTs for Newbies. Thanks for showing up for this channel. Today, we're going to be going over V Friends, what makes them unique, what makes them so special, why people are paying so much, and why you should probably get one too. Not financial advice, of course. We'll see you inside today's video. What's up, everybody? NFT Jeff here. And today we're going to be talking about Gary V and V Friends. I'm really, you know, just a fanboy to, to say, sort of weirdly say about this. I just thought Gary is just so cool because uh, I never forget when I, I first met Gary way back when, uh, when I was at ClickFunnels event. And I actually was sitting the world record for the Guinness Book World Record for the largest ever human bubble soccer game. But anyway, um, Gary V was there as the very first conference I'd ever been to. And he's given this amazing presentation and i had been watching him on TV and be able to meet him and talk to him. Um, it was, it was an awesome experience, but I've always been a fan of Gary. And then he see is a pioneer in this space, um, which I believe NFTs are the future when done right, when done with this, when done with the community, when done with amazing utility. And if you look at this, this is the thing, you got to realize the formula people. How many times do you, you hear me say it? Community trumps utility, which trumps image you know so community is greater than utility which is greater than image gary proves it nothing no offense gary if you happen to ever watch this video um i love it bro but this just shows you don't have to have the strokes of a genius to be able to make masterpieces so with that let's jump into it first of all when you come to the v friend site uh, it will verify when you put your wallet on here. I don't have any V friends. I'm looking to get a couple problems, but I don't have any right now, but it will verify them. Uh, and then you'll get access to certain things. So yeah, um, when you go to the library, there are 40 of each different type. And you'll see when you click on any of them, they'll show you the different backgrounds that they have and different variations. Um, and there's certain numbers. So there might be one bubble gum total. So this guy, you know, is pretty rare. Um, and then it shows you the average price on them, how many total there are and how many owners. And then when you go into Gary's collection, these are the actual one that Gary himself um, owns, whether he bought them or gifted him or whatever. Uh, these are ones he's owned. Um, it will say originally owned by Gary. If not, it will say another um, owner here. So he might, so this is probably, you know, minted by him or originally given to himself or whatever, because it still says own. If it came here and said another guy, you know that Gary would have bought it himself. He's got quite a few pages here. Um, but you can go through and you can also sort, uh, you know, highest to low. Let's see what the most expensive Gary Scott is. Look at this guy, which rare. Let's see how much you're trying to sell it for. All right. Sale price not for sale. There you go. So um, one of the things that makes these so special is the, if you go to Explore Friends, you can come right here and you can see the different access tokens, the gift tokens, the admission token, um, and then what the art itself, really, which doesn't really matter. For Gary and this project, um, the art is tertiary or on the third level. It's really about the access. It's really about the utility. And this is one of the prime examples of what great utility is. And that's why I wanted to make this video. So if you come here and you look under access tokens, you'll see competition. We highlight this. Uh, there's 22 different um, uh, competition, and obviously Gary likes bowling, and you'll see here that you've got, what is that, uh, nine bowling tokens, where if you click on it, it'll tell you what it is actually. Uh, one, you get to, in other words, there are two total redemptions occurring, it shows you how much, but the holders of the nine pin bowling will be invited to one two-hour bowling session with Gary Vanderchuk per year. Each year, and then it goes into details to make sure that they don't try and take, and then Gary puts a little explainer video, et cetera. So each one of these, you get a two-hour game with Gary. Pretty cool. And if you think about it, what's this, 18 hours right here out of Gary's day? I wonder what this total comes out to. That'd be something. If anybody ever wants to break that down and shoot that to me on YouTube, that'd be cool. But I wonder if all these totals, like this is 18 hours here. And then you've got the next level. So there's 22, there's nine here. And then these are the specialty ones that are coming out. So this is Bubble Hockey Basset Hound. The holder of the Bubble Hockey Basket Basset Hound token will compete with Gary Vanderchuk in person, one of his favorite games, Bubble Hockey, for 45 minutes once a year. Interesting. Um, bubble Hockey. Hmm. And then we've got the Checkers Chicken, which I imagine is Checkers. We'll compete with Gary Vanderchuk in checkers for one uh, for one hour per year. 
So that's cool. You can play, let's see, is there any price on this right now? Last sold for 10 Ethereum. That's like $40,000 to be able to pay. So an hour of Gary's time, you know? So for any of you guys that have wondered, like, how can I get utility into my NFTs? Be creative. What do you like to do? Pay, make people pay to do it with you. You know what I mean? What do you like to do? Gary's like, hey, simple, we'll play checkers. Maybe we're gonna play some rock, paper, scissors. Who knows? But think about that. And that's why I want to do this so much is just be able to see um, Gary's just, he's, you know, my time is valuable. What are some simple things I can do with people that they'll enjoy that everybody's sort of good at, like ping pong, you know? You know, everybody's sort of good at that. Everybody can play checkers, you know? Most people love to bowl, you know? So he was smart about the way he designed this as well because he did things that, um, you know, he probably not only uh, enjoys, but other people find um, easy to do. So there you got the competition, then you got the group access. So this is the breakfast bat. So this right now is again, 40 grand. And this is a two hour, I believe the holders of the 10 breakfast tokens will be invited to. Uh, so there, so Gary gets to knock out all 10 of these at one time. This is brilliant. What he does here is he's got, he's going to set up a breakfast. He's going to invite the token holders and it's once a year. And Hey, if you can't make it, I guess you can't make it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he, Gary's pretty cool about everything. So he probably has like a little fallback on that. And then you've got the brunch bear, which is, I would imagine they're doing something very similar. Yeah, they got 10 of these. So here's 20 that Gary knocks out in two hours. Or is it one hour? Yeah, 90 minutes. So three hours and Gary knocks out, um, you know, 20 of these tokens in a year. So that's amazing. That's super smart. Look at these. These are again going for 40 Basically, Ethereum is about four thousand for forty thousand dollars right now. So you got the bunch and whatever we got here. We probably got a dinner one too. Dinner deer, right? See, dinner deer. Um, I would imagine these are all the same too. Yeah, he's smart. He just keeps the same pattern. So he's got breakfast, lunch, uh, brunch, dinner. Does he got like dinner? You know, when you have lunch and dinner. Let's see, dinner, um, hangout hawk. So let's see what this one is. Um, 125. He knocks out 125 tokens here. Invited to join five. Oh, so there's virtual hangout. See, this is smart. This is just like doesn't even have to travel. He could do wherever he wants. That's such a smart thing. So these people get to jump on uh, like a virtual hangout, probably a Zoom call with Gary. Hangs out with him for what 60 minutes, five times a year. And there he knocked out 125 tokens. And each of these are selling. Well, none sold. So that I wonder if that's just because people are hodling or um, what, you know. These hanging out hawks are um, three Ethereum right here. So that's, you know, 12 grand to be able to hang out with Gary. So they're roughly, oh, wow, that one's, oh, no. And then we got the lunch, the end of them. We get through all the hangout hawks, 125 of them. Then we have the lunch ladybug which what is this guy? The holder of these again, 10, that's so smart. I mean, you gotta think he had the, that's the, just in groups of 10, there's been six different ones and then you have 125. So there's 60, there's like 185 tokens right there. And, um, you know, what is this? Maybe 10 hours of Gary's time. You know, if he just does one of these a month, he can bust them out, you know, and that'd be the smart thing for him to do, of course, not telling Gary what to do, but you know, if you just bust them out, like, or maybe groups is time a bit different. I don't know. The holders of these 10 lunch lady tokens provided a one 90 minute lunch with Gary Vanderchuk per year. So super simple. Sorry about the snap. Super simple. Very, very smart. I just love the way this is designed. And that's the great thing about it. Um, so many people they're, they, they are worried when we talk about utility, like, what can I do? Well, if people are one of your time, you'd be surprised what people will do one-on-one. -on -one. So these are funny. So these are Workout Wolf, which is working out with Gary. They have a wine shopping spree. This is the one that's really big, the courtside cap, because this is going to a game. Um, I wonder if it's just basketball. Courtside, yeah, of the New York Knicks game, one per year. Um, the owner of this one gets courtside with Gary, which is pretty cool because, you know, a basketball game, two, three hours. And um, – that right there, that's like 400 grand. So then you got FaceTime 5, which I believe is five minutes with Gary. Five-minute video call with Gary. You're getting one of those. And how many of these, I wonder, there are? They might all rest me. Then you got FaceTime Flea. So what is that one? 
That is um, each holder of FaceTime flea token will be granted one five minute video call with very Gary Vaynerchuk per year. What was the difference between the FaceTime flea and the Fa FaceTime five? I think the same thing. Next one, FaceTime fly. This is probably just another five minute call with Gary. Each holder of a FaceTime fly token will be granted one five minute video. See, this is interesting. So these are all just five minutes. I bet you for these, to some degree, he just lines them up. Oh, it's just one to 17. Boom. So there's 17 FaceTime five. And then uh, there is 17 flies. There's 17, or fleas, I mean. There's probably 17 flies. 17 flies. These are just different names. So Fox time Fox, 17 of those. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. One five minute. So, yeah, you get, they're basically 100 and 105 of these, it looks like, that are all around. Wow, 25. I wonder, last sale, this sold for 25 Ethereum. Holy crap. So, yeah, these are some of the things that are so cool Gary does with these. You've got the access one here, which, of course, are the one-on-ones. And then it starts getting into the five-minute calls, which are uh, he has multiple different names but they're all the same thing and they i've they look like they've traded anywhere from i saw one that was high as 35 um and then all the way down to three so there you go so there's his one-on-one then you've got his scholarship which you've got the sorcerer scholarship and each one of these things are along with uh, the other sorcerer scholarship token holders select applicants will have five 45 minute mentor sessions with Gary Vanderchuk over the course of the year. And then you get select applicants will have 30 uh, hours of mentor sessions with Gary's personal and professional network. Wow. Selected applicants will have an electable option to intern at Vander Media. Wow. Original ownership of the five sorcerer scholarship tokens are only awarded through application process. They are not purchasable. Interesting. Very, and then Gary, like all of them, has an explainer video. Very interesting. Up, oh, and then here's the email where you can apply for the scholarship token. Interesting. That's really cool. So he's got like a social con, uh, like conscious, you know, social side of it as well. Really cool. Gift goats. So let's see what a gift goat does. Gift Goat is a ver verifiable for exclusive gifting experience curated by v Gary Vaynerchuk and the V Friends team. A minimum of six physical gifts will be sent to the Gift Goat token holders per year for three years until token experience expires. Very cool. So they're going to give you a minimum of six gifts um, per year over a three year period of just stuff that's curated by his team. And uh, last sale was 14.8 uh, 14, uh, Ethereum, uh, which, you know, is roughly about like 40 or 56,000. Wow, that's cool. So he's got those. How many of those? He's got 155 of those bad boys. Wow. And that's so smart because it's just the same gift. They're just giving it out 155 or 500. I'm sorry, 555 of these. That's crazy. And it's just so simple, you know, like, think about this. Again, not taking anything away from Gary, but these are just basically like um, like swag boxes, you know? Like, sure, they're curated by him and his team. Again, no, no, no shade being – I mean, this is just brilliant. Look at that, 555. The overall cost of that, I mean, it might be – I mean, let's say they go extravagant and spend like two, 300 on these or maybe even 500 of them. You know, what is that? Add a couple zeros on there, like uh, like 250,000. Say we spent, let's say we take five of five and let's say you spend 500 bucks, right? Yeah, 200, I was right, 250,000. Uh, close, uh, 250,000. So, or 277 or whatever the math was. But yeah, in this right here, this portion alone, the amount of, think about this too. Every time he gets a sale, Gary's getting 5 to 10% royalty on this, too. A lot of people aren't realizing that. Nothing against Gary. I'm sure he's using it smart and, you know, all that stuff. But I'm just saying, um, that's so brilliant. 555 right there just knocks him out by sending him a swag box, uh, what, six times a year for three years. 
hmm, I know where I'm going to implement something like that into mine. That's brilliant, Gary. Brilliant. I love it so far, man. Um, it, you know, and most people, these, these access ones, some of them, uh, they might not work. Maybe you could do a competition. Um, like I'm doing like rock, paper, scissors or something that's fun for everyone. You could do it into a meetup and then you could do something like that. Or, you know, you'd have group access for some of you might be putting on a virtual event. It's going to be a lot easier sometimes because uh, there's less overhead, but still you can deliver a ton of value through a virtual event. And maybe that's one of your access pieces. We've done that. Everybody loved it. They already said that that alone was worth the price of admission. We're going to do them repeatedly throughout the year. So that's something maybe you could do um, one-on-one. You know, those things... Eh. It's going to be a little harder if you're not known or people don't want to hang out with you or anything. So hopefully that doesn't, that's not you. But um, as you, your line, your NFT grows, so will your notoriety and people want to hang out with you. So that's always a possibility. Um, I don't feel that anyone want to hang out with me. So I don't ever include that with any of the uh, our NFTs, but um, maybe for you, it works. For Gary, it's sure thing. And then I just love the scholarship, man. The scholarship just giving back community, helping. I'm sure he's having application or applicants are going through that every year. Um, and just, it's just um, really, really smart. And then the gift goats, um, you know, we're, we're probably gonna have some gift llamas or something like that coming up here real soon, because that's just a brilliant idea. Because um, from the marketing side, you know, as a lot of you know, I came from marketing promotion side and sales and stuff, funnels, all that type of stuff. That alone is brilliant because it doesn't, once they decide on the box, getting it together is not hard. Shipping, once you get all those channels in place, which he's done, and you get it out the first time, it becomes just replication after that, you know? And I'm sure his team does put some thought in this. I'm sure they're not cheap boxes by any means. They might even be more than 500, you know? Who knows? Um, I would love to see what a box is. If anyone can ever let me know in the comments below, if you've ever uh, seen one of the gift goats, what the boxes are like, let me know. That would be amazing. Or we'll have to do some research and figure that one out. But that's cool. Um, so, yeah. And then if you go through this, you've got your admission, which are a total of, you know, here's 5,000, basic or 5,000, 5,500. There's another 2,000, 7,500, another 1,000, uh, 85. So yeah, like 11,000, 12,000 roughly total tokens here all going to VCon. That's a massive event for you people. That, I don't know if you've ever, how many conferences you've ever been to. Um, and maybe that's because he's expecting not all the people to show up. You know, they estimate, hey, if we give 12,000 max, like 70% will have to be able to show up because there's travel. There's all types of stuff that the average person might not. Um, well, if they're buying one of these, they unless they minted it, they they can afford. But anyway, um, that might be something that you know, stopping somebody from going is um, is the amount of travel, the expenses, that type of thing. So I'm wondering if there's any possibility that they factor that in when they thought of this. I'd love to be able to talk to Gary just about this project. It'd be so amazing to be able to just find out his thought process when he did this um, because I'm just coming at it as a um, person on the outside looking in, trying to figure out, you know, his different angles. And I know, uh, I don't know Gary, but I would imagine that from what I've always seen of Gary, that it, um, that he put some ultimate thought and time in this with not only by himself with, with his team though, I'm sure they sat down and they're like, this is what we can afford time-wise over the next year. Um, because Gary's time is very valuable. So you got to think each one of these time things add up, even this one-on-one, -on -one, um, were these FaceTime fives. Um, you got, you know, um, 17 times six different types, I believe there was or whatever. Um, that's a lot of time that adds up. Five minutes adds up real quick. And I'm sure Gary maximizes his time. But um, yeah, that's one of the things that's really cool about this is I'm sure he's planned out and knows to the minute what um, all these are how much time he's spending per year. His team is going through his calendar, plotting everything out to make sure that it makes sense on his timing. And the cool thing is a lot of these are virtual. You know, he can do a FaceTime five. He doesn't have to be in the room, you know, um, except for some of the meals. But that was the other cool way he did that too, was he took batches of them and made it so that he can spend, I believe it was 90 minutes with somebody eating lunch and he has 10 different people and he knocks them out just like that. So 
done really, really well. I love how Gary laid this out. People are always asking me how they can come up with the utility. And this is just a prime example of doing it. The one-on-one -on -one time might be hard for some of you because you just don't have the notoriety, but you know, the competitions, people love to compete. And if you have a tribe, get them together for a kickball tournament or something, who knows, you know, maybe you all play pool, who knows, but you know, um, NFTs are the future for everything. It brings the community closer together. It allows you to have exclusivity within a community. And doing things like this, doing the setup like Gary did, makes it special. And I know this, um, you know, NFT project is going to go for a long, well, for three years, actually, because it's all set for three years from now. Um, and then Gary, the amazing thing about that, when all these die in three years from now, he's just going to be able to send another one out. And they're going to automatically go to the moon. That is one of the ones, if you can ever get whitelisted for, or get into it and guarantee one of you're going to want, because you can guarantee with the success that these are probably going to have. And um, I'm going to start tracking this a little bit and start seeing what some of the like, payouts, like what's the workout? I would imagine Gary being Gary, he would um, turn the workout as much as he can into a social media experience too, so that people are able to, or maybe he doesn't, maybe that's the ex exclusivity of it too. He's like, no, no, this is so exclusive. It's not even available to see what we did on social. Who knows? This will be fun to track over the next couple of years. And I'm definitely going to be doing that and reporting back to you guys. But if you found value in this video at all, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on those notification bells. Give me a like and let me know what you think in the comments about how much value you found in this and value you found in my other videos. So thanks so much for watching. I'm NFT Jeff and we're out of here. Peace.